Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be working on this uh, blazer here. This is actually the parts blazer and I'm gonna be pulling all the parts and stripping all the pieces we need for the other one. So on this one, on the other one, we have the we had the front uh, frame rails replaced on it, as you can see in the previous video here. And uh, just got it back from the body shop. So going to, we still need this rad support and everything and all of the headlights and bumper cover and all that stuff off this one. So I'm gonna strip this one all down and uh, we're gonna pull this rad support out so we can weld it into the other one. Not too sure how much cutting I'll have to do, but I think this should come out of here pretty easy anyways. And then we also need to strip all the airbags. So this one was hit in the back and uh, it's pretty mangled in the back here, but everything on the inside is good. The airbags are all good. I mean, it's still got the sticker in here. This thing's got pretty low This one's a 2021, the other one's a 2022. So uh, they're both pretty new, the other one's got pretty low K on it. I think this one has 30,000 K on it. So this one still actually runs and drives, but I'm gonna do it in this shed. This is where I have all the other parts for it. And I'll strip it all out, lay the parts all out and uh, get them ready to put on the other one. But unfortunately, the color's a little bit off. So I'm gonna have to repaint these parts, but only have to paint, I think one fender, the hood and the bumper cover, I believe. And probably I'll have to blend the doors because I think it's a, uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the one we're fixing is a tri-coat. Hopefully it's not, but I'm pretty sure it is. But, uh, but yeah, we'll get that fixed up here. And uh, yeah, I just need to get this one stripped all down. I gotta take everything off. I think, I think the headliner is good in this one too, because I need, do need the, the roof airbags. Yeah, this one's all good. It's actually not even a single airbag popped, except for the seatbelts did lock up, but nothing else. So, but this seat on here is, <laughs> look how far that seat's bent back. Pretty crazy, right? So yeah, and I also need the dash one because the dash blew on here. Oh, you know what? I think the window's good on this one. Yeah, the window is good. I'm not sure if I can get that out without breaking it. I might be able to. Probably give her a try. So yeah, we'll uh, go grab some tools and start taking this thing apart. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna start by uh, putting up on some jack stands here and I'll pull the wheels off and then I think probably the bumper cover and the hood next. Alrighty, so I got it pretty much stripped down here and uh, I'm getting pretty close to where the rad support goes. So I'm gonna look at the other one here now, but I think I gotta uh, drill the spall walls out right here and it bolts up right here. And then this bar comes out obviously in the middle and then right here, here. So I'll probably have to take this fuse box out and the bat, well, I don't know about the battery, but the battery and a few other things just to be able to take these out. But, and then I'm gonna uh, uh, just get some hoses, make a loop on this thing here and then uh, probably get a copper pipe and just make another loop that goes to this hose. And then uh, I can still drive this thing once, uh, drive it around once we take the rad support out. So it'll still be somewhat mobile because I'm either gonna part it out or we're gonna send it back to auction and someone else can buy it for parts. Cause I mean the motor and everything's still good in it. The motor's good, like these are all good. If you wanted to really take them out, I just, we ended up getting new ones instead of uh, removing them, but we just need this rad support still. But yeah, the doors are actually all good. The interior is good. The rear door is just surprisingly actually good. They didn't get wrecked 
being hit from the back. But the the inside is all good, except for we're gonna steal the airbags out of it. But, but yeah, so it'll be a good car for someone if they want some parts off it, or we'll just end up parting it out and try to sell like that. But yeah, we don't need any of the suspension or anything either on ours, so or on the other one that we're gonna fix. But yeah, we'll check out the other one here and uh, see how far we need to go back. Alrighty, so here's the other one, and I'm um, pretty sure we only need to undo it in three spots. So it's just spot welded on the other one right here, and it somehow slides underneath here. So hopefully I'll be able to get that underneath this little lip here without having to take this whole side piece off. Because they also put a new one on the other side here. This thing hasn't really been welded together. It's just welded in place, but it's not, it's all sturdy, but it just needs to be, all these other spot welds need to be welded up, but. So I'm gonna try to put on the space bar here and see, make sure it fits first of all. Alrighty, so the holes line up, so that's a really good sign. So everything should be in place. And uh, yeah, we just need to get that rat support in there and then I'm gonna paint it all up. Paint all this stuff, but I'll do that tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna get that thing cut out and uh, do a bunch of welding on it. I don't know if we'll have it get it painted or not, but hopefully have it pretty close. So anyways, we'll catch you tomorrow and we'll do that. Alrighty, so it's the next day here and I'm just gonna continue working on this uh, parts blazer pulling this apart and uh, so I'm pretty much ready to drill this one out I think I should be able to get to it I might take a drill from the back and this is all clear here and uh, I just got to pull the battery box out and the fuse box out here to be able to get to these couple little uh, spot walls I think so we'll uh, get that pulled apart here and start drilling some spot walls out So the rat support pretty much all the way off here and uh, came off actually pretty easy so wasn't really too much holding it on just a little bit of glue right here that's it so they both came off pretty easy and uh, that's what they look like so yeah I just need to, I'll have to bring these over to the other shop and uh, clean them up there and then uh, we can I can weld them on the other car so but that should be just what everything we need off this car I think there's a few more things maybe some little brackets and clips when I might need, but for the most part, I'm just gonna loop this uh, tranny lines and uh, make another line, or I think it goes from this top coolant line to the bottom and just hook these two together from right there. And then I can throw the wheels back on and the battery and stuff back in there. And that should be able to drive that thing around still. So I'm gonna need to drive over to the other shop and I'm gonna steal all the airbags out of it. And I think we're gonna take the front window out. Might give it a try, cause I bet you I can get it out without breaking it. So we'll, uh, Bring this up over to the other shop and start cleaning this thing up and I can get that welded in and then uh, can pretty much weld up the rest of the rat support and the front bars and everything on the other car. So, and then hopefully some paint finally. So let's go over there and do that. Alrighty, so I got everything pretty much in place here and ready to weld up. So I had these all mounted up and all the hill or the, dr or the holes drilled here. So pretty much ready to go in place. I had dad help me, uh, we bolted this up made sure it lined up with the factory holes and then we measured it all and checked the other blazers so it should be all be good i just got to clean these up a little bit and then uh, get these clamped on and i think we can start welding and then just start at the one end just go back and forth make sure it's all square and uh keep going and just weld it right up
I got it pretty much all welded up here and I'm just covered in dirt because it was so hot in here today and I was grinding on this and everything, but it pretty much took me all day to do this. So I got these all welded up here. Got a couple of maybe little ones to grind down, but for the most part, got it all uh, finished up here. So now, pretty much now I need to uh, scuff this whole thing, uh, all of it, and then uh, seam seal it. So we'll, I'll run seam seal here like all along back where all the factory spots was. And then, uh, yeah, it'll look really nice and clean. And then I can, I can, I'm gonna just paint it black, like a gloss black, just seal it and paint gloss black. And uh, that should look good. Kind of back to factory anyways. But yeah, there is a, so many spot welds. I had to line this all up, make sure these were all straight. And uh, there's welds all on the inside here. And uh, actually these came, GM had them pre-drilled, so it kind of had spots where you wanted to weld them there, but. There was so many spot welds. And then the ones along the uh, along the firewall here, I like, it was so hard not to start the car on fire because on the inside here, let's see. I had to pull the carpet back and everything, but it still has this other piece here. Really. So you can see the welds right there. And uh, you kind of pull it back out of the way but it's still pretty hard to get back in there. It was almost worse on the driver's side. The driver's side was way worse. I kind of lit it on fire a little bit, but luckily I was I was just like checking every every little weld I would do. I'd go back in here and check. And uh, yeah, it was kind of close because you can see I have a wet rag up here right now, kind of where I had it welding. And uh, up against this, that's where it's burnt a little bit, so. I didn't burn the car down, so that's good, but just did burn that carpet piece a little bit, which is not a big deal. I just a little singe on it. I'll just cut that out. And, uh, but yeah, finally got this all done. This is a big job. Definitely would not recommend <laughs> if you're rebuilding one of these. So, uh, but yeah, so I, these are all nice and in place now. So I think we're pretty much ready for uh, seam sealer and paint. So, uh, yeah, we'll get on that now. But I think that's going to be a wrap for this video today. I'm going to call her quits for today. And uh, we'll, tomorrow we'll get some paint or some seam sealer and some paint on it. And I'll probably, I think I'm going to pull it out of here and uh, I'll put it in the paint booth just so I don't make a mess because there's a bunch of other stuff in this shop right now. So I'll probably just pull it onto the trailer and uh, stick it back into the paint booth for now. And then we can paint it up in there. But so yeah, anyways, that's a wrap for this video today. And uh, thanks for watching and tune in for the next one. Peace. Thank you.